students today we are going to discuss about the unit number 5 okay this is the last unit in the surveying and geometrics right subject right so today we are going to discuss about uh, unit number uh, 5 right so that is the photogrammetric surveying right so till now we saw so many conventional methods of surveying right so chain surveying or tape okay then we saw the compass surveying for bearing measurements then we have the plane table right so chain we are having right then we have the chain or tape for the linear measurement then we have the compass for bearings right so the angles with respect to the north direction bearings we calculated then we draw the plan on a plane table directly on the field right so then we have the level instrument for the getting the levels right then we have the theod light okay then we have tachometer okay so in the advanced techniques when we are using the electronic right so electronic uh, energy for the uh, distance and angle and level measurement right so where we saw the electronic distance measurement devices right instruments like uh, uh, what is called geodimeter right so geodimeter we saw it is going to help uh, work on the visual light right so like this different things are there then we saw about the another advanced instrument uh, total station right total station and finally in the last unit last topic is global positioning system gps right so these are the different methods you know we discussed in the survey right so the final the last unit what we are having is the photogrammetric surveying right so the name itself it is telling that we are going to take the photo right so by capturing the photos right tell of the camera okay so if you want to survey some pop, what is called area no so that area is going to be captured with help of the photos by arranging okay so if it is a small area one single photo is enough if it is a small area one photo is enough right so if it is having so much area no so our camera cannot able to uh, capture all the area even it is captured by one single photo but we can't get the uh, features on that particular field it is clearly okay for that right so if this is the whole area right what you have to do now we have to take this area of photo this area one photo this area one photo this area one photo you just plan accordingly of our how many photos you need right so like this everything will be taken with the help of the different photos right so finally if you are arranging the all photos like this okay so total uh, plan or total uh, whatever area you are going to survey okay so that will form like this right so then we can able to see the each and every feature of that particular area so that we will plan accordingly right so this type of photos will be taken like this okay so from that photo right we are going to tell we are going to calculate the level we are going to calculate the area right we are going to calculate the length all the things will be done right so even you can't able to some areas may be there where you can't able to do the surveying right if it is a marshy land if it is a forest right so if it is a some water body so we can't able to do the survey over there right so for that purpose then some case the leader cannot go to the field to see the over field data but by capturing these photos even it is bringing to the office we can able to see the uh, the land very clearly right so this is these are the advantages of this photogrammetry so photos grammetric surveying we are going to take the photos right so we are getting the photos for the surveying purpose okay where surveying is used surveying is used to know the distances surveying is used to know the directions surveying is not used to know the elevation right so and based on those values we are going to plan our plan we are going to execute our plan right what is the civil construction any other purpose okay so if you want to do that we need some um, best data right so that is 
photogrammetry right so this photogrammetry is not starting with the small camera right so it is going and ending with the satellites also okay from satellites also we are going to capture the photos right so with help of those photos right so we can have the surveying if you are opening the google ad right the app called google ad okay so you can able to see the all the features on your place right so if you zoom in right right so you can see the all the features trees in uh, what is called homes then houses then uh, okay it is called uh, roads everything you can able to see right so that is the one of the application of this photogrammetric surveying right so i think you can uh, able to know when you are openly google ad right so this is the introduction regarding okay a uh, photogrammetric surveying right so in this topic we are going to have the two types of uh, photogrammetric surveying so one uh, the one is for the first one is we are going to take photos from the ground level and second one is the photos will be taken from the space or from a with the help of aircraft or with the help of the satellites you can capture the photos okay these are the two main broad classifications of this photogrammetric surveying right so what are the different methods are there to capture so what are the different methods are there to what is called combine all these photos to get a clear area right so what are the different uh, advantages disadvantages methods right so different features of this photogrammetric surveying we are going to deal through this unit right so let us start the definition of this okay photogrammetric surveying right so it is the science and art of obtaining accurate measurements by the use of photographs right so it is the art of art and science of obtaining accurate measurements by use of photographs for various purposes such as the construction of planimetric and topographic maps right so we are going to construct the maps by the help of the those photos classification of soil you can you can able to see the uh, soil type which is over there and interpretation of glg that means what are the different rocks is are going to exist at particular place then acquisition of uh, military intelligence right so for the military purpose you can you can see uh, the uh, satellite images of uh, india china border right so where they can see the uh, the movement of the people and the movement of military everything they can observe from the help of the satellite so for those purpose also we are going to use this uh, photogrammetry and the, the preparation of composite picture of the ground right so we can uh, capture the uh, picture of the ground right the photographs are taken uh, either from a or from station on the ground already i told that so these photos will be taken from the air okay from the air we can have the aircraft or satellite okay or from the station on the ground even from the ground level if you have the some camera at the, some particular height with the help of that we can go into capture the data right next here we have the two types of photogrammetry that is a terrestrial photogrammetry aerial photogrammetry right so terrestrial photogrammetry already you told that photogram photos can be taken from either from ground or from the air suppose if you are taking the photos from the ground that kind of photography is called photogrammetry is called terrestrial photogrammetry it is the branch of the photogrammetry where the photographs are taken from a fixed position or near the ground right so it is having the fixed position on the on the ground okay so near the ground we have a fixed position that is called terrestrial photogrammetry next second one is aerial photogrammetry it is that photogrammetry wherein photographs are taken by the right camera mounted in an aircraft flying over the area right so it is the fixed to the end but uh, here the photographs will be taken by a aircraft right so the photos will be taken by a aircraft okay aircraft right so below that we have a camera right so once it is flying you know, it is going to take in all the photos right so that is called as aerial photogrammetry from air it is called aerial photogrammetry from ground it is called terrestrial photogrammetry then mapping from aerial photogrammetry is the best mapping procedure and developed for large projects and are for invaluable for military intelligence 
right? So for the uh, military intelligence, then as well as the it is a large project, right? If you want to construct a big dam, right? Big reservoir, okay? So if you want to do the areas for the kilometers together, but with the photos you can't able to from the ground you can't able to get the all the data, but with help of a helicopter or any aircraft, they are going to take the photos and you can um, what is called uh, survey the total area very easily. So that is the best advantage with the aerial photogrammetry, right? So the major uses of aerial mapping methods are the civilian and military mapping agencies of the government, right? So normally for any, if you want to find out what are the different crops or the so many crop farmers in that state or country or what are the different types of soils, what are the different types of rocks, okay? So to get all these things, government agents will do. And next to the important thing is army people, they can go for the look over the wherever the uh, other countries, my army is located, right? So the first two thing we are going to discuss about today's class that is terrestrial photogrammetry. Okay, the principle underlying the method of terrestrial photogrammetry is exactly similar to that of the plane table surveying, right? So here the principle behind uh, the <coughs> terrestrial photogrammetry is exactly similar to the plane table surveying. That is, if the distance of the same objects photographed from the two extremities of measured base are known their positions can be located by the intersection of two rays of the same object right so if i am taking a uh, photo from here okay over this area right so one thing is there one thing is there right like this regard then i took another photo from this position regardless this whenever you are getting intersected no so intersection method is there in the plane table no? Like that, we are going to locate the point, okay? By taking two or discuss for the same object from the two extremities, okay? By the intersection of that, we can locate the uh, two same object location, right? Next, however, the difference between this and plane table is that more details are at once obtained from the photographs, and then subsequent plotting is done by the office while in the plane table all the detailing is done in the field itself right so what is the major difference after even principle is the same but in the photogrammetry terrestrial photogrammetry you can take photos in the field and you can go to the lab there you can do the plotting but in case of plane table you have to cite you have to plot everything you have to finish in the field itself okay so if you want to check it again it is not possible again you have to come to the office to the field right so but with the help of the photograph uh, no need to come back to the field to check the features whatever features you captured no everything is there on the photograph even by sitting at office okay so you can work on it and you can plot the maps right or plans right next the terrestrial photogrammetry can be divided into two branches the first one is plane table photogrammetry second one is terrestrial stereo photogrammetry okay so let us see one by one first one plane table photogrammetry okay so it consists of essentially right it consists essentially in taking a photograph of the area to be mapped from each of the two or three stations right so we are going to take one photography from a station another photography from b station okay another photography from the photograph from the C station by combining all these three photos we are going to develop a map right so the perpendiculars may be oriented at any angle to the base but usually from a acute angle with the letter right so perpendiculars has to be oriented like this the main difficulty arises in the identification of image points in a pair of photographs okay some difficulty is there okay so to identify the correct image next in the case of homogeneous area of sand or grass, identification becomes impossible, right? So if it were nothing is there, only sand is there, only grass is there, if you took the photos from the three locations or five locations, right? So you can't be able to judge, right? So where are that identification and okay, plotting orientation will be very difficult, okay? Next, the principles of stereo photogrammetry, however, produce the remedy right so now uh, this what are the difficulties are in this method this is 
will be overcome by the next method that is terrestrial stereo photogrammetry principle okay now due to considerable improvement of accuracy obtained by the stereoscope measurements of pair of photographs the camera base and the angles of intersection of the datum rays up to the point where measured can be considerably reduced since the camera axis of two stations exhibits great similarity to each other right so here what we are going to do now we are going to obtain the stereoscopic measurement of pairs of photographs so everywhere we are going to take the two right so two photographs so the camera base and the angles of intersection of the datum rays right so camera base will be there at one point right so under the angles of intersection of the datum rays to the points to be measured can be considerably reduced since the camera axis at two stations exhibit great similarity to each other right so here what you are going to do now if you are taking the uh, photograph from these two stations right so that uh, two stations photograph will exhibit the similarity to each other if the similarity is there we can easily plot the data right so the image points which are particle parallelically displayed relative to the each other right so in the two photographs are fused to a single image since both are same now they can fuse into two photographs will be single into one photograph okay by the stereoscopic measurements okay so you no need to study or uh, analytical behind this right so up to this we can uh, tell the regarding terrestrial photogrammetry next we are having the second method very important remaining unit is going to cover with this right so that is called aerial photogrammetry okay so here the <coughs> it is the science of deducing physical dimensions of object above the surface of that from the measurement of aerial photographs of the object okay so that photography is can be taken by the aeroplane or helicopter right so the aerial photogrammetry is used for the highway recognition so environmental preliminary design and geographic information system that is called gis right so this is all about for today's class right so today's class we saw unit number 5 right where we have the photogrammetric surveying right so what is the need of this photogrammetry surveying right so we have two types of photogrammetry surveying me uh, where we are going to take photos of uh, places and uh, survey area and we are going to plot the maps and the plans right so here based on the uh, position of your camera if we add it maybe on the ground it may be on the air so we have two types of uh, photogrammetric surveying the first one is if you are taking photos from the ground level so that is called terrestrial photogrammetry if you are taking uh, photos from the air with help of the helicopter the aircraft that is called as the aerial photogrammetry okay so in the next class we are going to see the, the principles and everything regarding the aerial photogrammetry okay so that's all for today thank you